Hi! Today I wanted to show you some different ways that I wear my Stitch Machine pinwheel hairpins and hopefully it gives you some ideas of how you can incorporate it into your style and texture of hair. Um, this is the pinwheel hairpin in Harvest Orange. So we'll go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing I wanted to say is just um, make sure you consider um, the way that you normally wear your hair and the way that your hair looks best and you can incorporate the pinwheel into that style. Um, so I have really thick straight hair um, so I wear my hair parted a lot um, on the left or right um, and sometimes I'll just kind of place it in my hair um, just randomly in there um, pretty easy and looks nice. Um, but most often what I do is I'll um, pin up one side and put it in there. So pull it up to one side and kind of twist it a little bit maybe. Um, and if your hair's not really thick you can just go ahead and pin it in here and it'll hold it. Um, it holds even my hair up. Um, it's just may not stay up for hours like you want it to because um, it's the, your hair might be a little too heavy um, so what I like to do is um, I'll use bobby pins just to reinforce it a little bit um, so here's my first one put it in there and let's see here's my second one and I'll crisscross it so that it does a good job holding it up hopefully you can see how it's crisscross there All right and after you have that, then you can just put the pinwheel hairpin in anywhere you like. Here we go. So that's how I normally wear it. Um, and one rule of thumb I like to use when I'm um, trying to figure out where to place my um, hair accessories um, is I find the top of my head and then find my ear and then kind of go halfway in between those two and I kind of like to keep the um, hair accessories from here to here um, because if you don't do that if you go start going higher it kind of starts looking like you have like a bloom on the top of your head and I think for adults that doesn't um, look quite as nice. Um, so you can use that technique, especially if you have really short hair. Um, kind of keep it in, in this range and then um, that way it'll kind of add a little accent at like an angle to your eye. Um, Alright. Um, so if you like braid your hair up here or do some victory rolls, um, you can also just place it in, place it in wherever you, you like and it'll look nice. Right, so another way that you can wear it is if your hair is longer than mine and you like to do updos in the back, you can kind of, um, see my hair's too short for this, but um, do your updo and go ahead and pin it up with bobby pins and then you can just place the pinwheel in there in the back of the hairdo. And th I think this would also look nice with like two or three in the back. Um, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to. Um, and another way that I've seen women wear it when I'm selling them out on the street in Noda is um, they'll have, like their hair will already be styled up. Um, all of it's up and if they have like textured hair it might be like curly up here and then they'll just place it um, right underneath the updo and it looks really nice. So there's some different ways that you can wear it and um, I hope that you'll kind of experiment and try your own and leave a comment below if you come up with a different way that I haven't thought of. So thanks!